am the mother of Hayden Hicks, my son, who has been taken away for a year next month um, for I'm me getting fall. hit on, getting hit from his father. They knocked on my bedroom door and I opened up my door. They asked me to come downstairs and I opened, actually they opened the door for CPS. CPS said, can I come in? It was an emergency response. She worker. was all alone. She came in, she said she just wanted to talk to me. She wanted to help me with the situation. I told her I was totally cooperative. I told her to come in. I let her know that me and my boyfriend had gotten to an argument. I, I took did. the pictures. The cops still were there and everything. And the cops and the worker walked outside and left me and Hayden inside my home. They came back in after it was probably about like 10 minutes. And she asked me to sign a safety plan. And on that safety plan, it said to submit to random drug testing to comply with all orders of CPS and to um, report any domestic violence that was going on in the home. I, they said if I didn't sign it that they were going to remove Hayden. So I signed yeah, it. I signed my child away, pretty much. <laughs> the next day, I went and drug tested. Um, while they were there, I told them, look, I, I was going to test positive for marijuana. You know, but I was, that's all that was going to be my system. I showed them my recommend, doctor's recommendation and my card. And um, we were just unloading our car. <laughs> and it was two women. It was the Carolina Morales, the emergency response worker. And they came in and they said they wanted to talk to me and Michael separately. So one talked to me and one talked to him. They said, well, we would like for you to leave the home and go to a, a shelter, a homeless shelter. I said, no, I'm not taking my son out of my four bedroom home that where he's grew up in. I'm not, I'm not going to go to a homeless shelter. And then they looked at Michael and Michael uh, said, well, no, they said, well, Michael, then you need to leave. That's what they said. And um, Michael goes, well, I don't have anywhere to go. And um, they both looked at each other. Um, they said, well, then we're taking Hayden into custody. And um, Michael said, no, you know, like, I'll leave. I'll go. I'll go to San Diego. My parents live in Chula Vista. They can stay here. And they looked at, it, at me and said, nope, sorry, options off the table. We're taking Hayden. <laughs> and they went outside and called the police. <laughs> they came uh, to my door and they told me to pack Hayden's stuff up. So I went and like, got like, all his juice and like, <laughs> His milk, his, I guess because I had him on soy milk and like certain things that he liked a lot. <laughs> and put his blanket and everything and like my... <laughs> and they, they ripped him from my arms. <laughs> and I, I've been fighting for a year. Next month on the 26th will be a year. I've completed their parenting. I've enrolled in all their substance abuse treatments programs. I've done two hair follicle tests, which both showed positive for THC. That's it. No, no other, nothing. I've I've completed their psychological evaluation. I mean, now I'm in treatment Mondays and Wednesdays, and I go to I go to my individual therapists. They've given me six more months of reunification and the judge has ordered me to stop smoking my medical marijuana, which there's no nexus in between them even taking my child and me even smoking marijuana. They didn't, you know, they didn't even come to my house and find a bong or a weed or I wasn't charged with 
driving under the influence with my child in the car, or I wasn't charged with me I was fully asleep. open and honest. I had nothing to hide. I was <clears throat> telling them the truth. There was nothing. I wasn't doing anything wrong except being, being in a relationship that was a little bit dysfunctional. So now I'm left all by myself. My family is ruined. I'm all alone. My son, I wake up every... <laughs> I wake up every morning to my son's crib. And my son's <laughs> like, brain is just gonna... I'm gonna wake up and he's gonna be there. <laughs> and he's been in, like through so much. <laughs> like, I mean... My son's been through so much. Four different foster homes. From a... When they first took him, he went to a Spanish-speaking lady that couldn't even speak to me. She couldn't speak to me directly. I, I had to have an interpreter for this. Three woman days to talk later, to. my child looked like like a totally different child. I was like freaked out. Like, I was like, what did you do to my baby? Like, he was like from head to toe just bumps. So I took pictures in the room. They would put me in these little tiny rooms and make us sit there for four hours. Because that was ordered by the court. It was on the sixth day. It was my second visit. And that's when that rash was. That crazy rash. My child was in so much pain. I had to walk out and tell the Hugs Foster Agency, like, you need to take my child to see the doctor. He's... This is just a totally different child. Like, uh, the second foster mother that he got, I thought, oh, she's like a nice le like little grandma. She no. told me that she made uh, some like stew or something, and she had to force feed my child because he wouldn't eat it. Well, obviously he didn't want that. Like, you don't have to force feed my child and put him in a. She's like, and I had oh, to what else are you doing to my child? She said he was laying on the floor and kicking at her. And she asked, he asked, she asked him if he wanted to smack. I've never, ever hit my child. I've never, my child never left my side for 19 months. I cut his umbilical cord. Like, he never left my side. Nobody babysat him, not grandma, not, like, one cry from him. And, like, I was right there. He, was he my, never, like, he's my life. <laughs> him that's my baby and I get to see him at the mall I get to see him at the mall for a year a year straight for two hours a visit he's right here. see that that's his bed he's been in my room for for a year now Bye. See you tomorrow, Mama. Bye. I love you. Bye.